So today I planned a fit and lit adventure lake day with my closest friends. So I'm gonna be taking you guys through the entire day and everything I have planned for us. We're gonna be getting ready together. I'm gonna be doing my hair and supernatural makeup. I'm gonna be showing you all the treats that I'm making and making them with you. Some mango sangria, some fruit kebabs, all that good stuff. But basically I wanted to plan this day for my girls as a thank you for just always supporting me and my entire journey. And I wanted us to just get lit and stay fit together, you know? So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm taking them through a roughly like 20 minute workout. We're gonna be doing some booty and abs. I plan the day at 4 p.m. so the girls can get here. We can just chill, maybe have one drink to loosen up and then we'll get into the workout around 4.35. So it's like happy hour, sunset. I told them to wear their favorite sweaty set. A lot of my friends don't really like to work out so this should be really interesting and pretty funny. I made it pretty beginner friendly and then super super dope my friend who's a photographer asked if she can come and take some photos and pi pictures who says photos some pictures and videos of today so I'm so so excited about that and then after I have a little surprise for them I ordered Jason sushi which is my all-time my favorite sushi in Miami if you're here you got to try it out I'll tag him basically we're just gonna have like tons of fun today we'll be super active but we'll be able to just come together as like a community. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me to be virtually here with us. Let's do it. Today I'm making fruit kebabs. I'm making pineapple soaked in Malibu. I know it sounds weird, but it tastes just like a pina colada, so good. And then I'm gonna make a mango sangria. We're gonna make it right now. Super, super easy. We're gonna start with the pineapple soaked in Malibu. So basically, I got these just because they're cheaper than buying like the actual pineapple sliced already. So I'm just gonna slice it, I'll put it into the bowl, and then let it soak for a few hours until everyone gets here. Now I'm gonna make the mango sangria. This is so delicious and so refreshing. So it's super easy to make. I have champagne. I have uh, some LaCroix, which is sparkling water. You could use any of your choice. I have some mango juice. I got this brand at Whole Foods and I absolutely love it. It's lower in sugar and it just, it isn't as thick as those usual mango juices that end up being like a puree. This is more like a juice juice, which I love. And then you can use your favorite white wine. My favorite white wine is Pinot Grigio, but today we are using Conundrum perfect whatever white wine you'd like so again the champagne the white wine we have LaCroix and the mango juice and of course some fruit for here I already have the mixed fruit already cut up so it's gonna be super easy we're gonna start with the fruit so I'm just gonna empty some of my favorite fruit we got pineapple strawberries kiwi it's gonna give it that nice refreshing flavor since this is during the day I thought that this would be the perfect drink I hope all the girls love it the juice so we're going in with the champagne again you can use whatever champagne you like oh, I'm a little nervous <laughs> ready ready <laughs> I was actually smooth I'm usually terrible at that so I am so impressed so, so I'm gonna add a little bit of champagne the champagne isn't the main thing but it is a, it is gonna give it a little bit more of that fizz that we want the main drink in this is gonna be the wine. That's really what makes a sangria. So I love white wine. It's such a day, such a day vibe. Perfect. So we use that whole bottle of white wine between the two. I'm gonna add some more champagne. Show it some love. Now we're going in with the mango juice. Oh, this juice is so good, guys. You have to try it. Like a pro. So I'm not gonna do too, too much of this, but definitely gonna give it that mango flavor. Okay, perfect. Now we're going with the sparkling water. That's what's gonna give it more of like that fizz, like the champagne. And it'll water it down just a little bit so it doesn't kill us. So I'm gonna split this between the two. I'm gonna add some blueberries. This is like the perfect drink for a hot summer day, or a spring day. A 
day like today. I hope you guys try this mango sangria recipe out because it is bomb. Do it with your girlfriends and tag me on Instagram. We are setting up. Mimosa time. <laughs> Just finished setting up. So here's my dry erase board. I put Ventures Spam. So I'm gonna have all the girls sign in when they get here. And then some cute little details. Strong is sexy. My logo, and then go away if you're almost alive. So here's gonna be where all the appetizers are. I surprised the girls with little cute stickers, so they're gonna get to pick their favorite. There's so many cute ones that say like just funny things or like motivational things. So I'm excited for them to see. Super, super cute. And then here, my aunt was so nice. She made me some for adventure stickers, like personalized, so they're gonna be in here. And then over here is the bar area, and there's the cooler, so all the drinks are gonna be there. We're gonna be using these cups for the sangria. And then over here, my favorite part is the little beach boho station. So again, I'm sure we'll put like some appetizers here too, but here's my surfboard um, with my logo. I love this surfboard so much. And then right here, this is a really cute arrangement that I got. I'll make sure to link that for you. This is like a mermaid tail and my favorite part. Uh, for Ventures Fit and Lit Leg Day. And then I had to throw in this little cute beach bum candle that my best friend got me when I launched my beach bum plan. So, yay! I hope that they love it. So the workout, I'm gonna be on the dock all the way at the end, teaching the class, and then all the girls are gonna be here on the sand, and then some I'm sure will be here too. So, I'm so stoked. So it is 3 p.m. and I told everyone to get here at four, and I haven't even started my hair or my makeup or picked out shoes for my outfit or put it on. Um, but this is my life. I'm like late to everything if you guys don't know me. I am that friend who just can't be there on time. Like if I said four, since I told them it starts at four, they know, my best friends like know, it really means 4.30. Cause I'm the one who's like late to my own party, clearly. It's three. <laughs> um, so I'm like, I need to do, I'm gonna do my hair really quick. By the way, this is a, it's called the hot off the press. I swear by this, I put this on before I do my hair 24 seven, just because it's gonna keep it from burying. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the iron just cause my hair is a little bit, this is my natural by the way, if I don't do braids or anything like that. So it's just like a little bit frizzy. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the iron, kind of just to calm it down really quick. And then I'm gonna pop some waves in. So today's look, I want it to be super natural, beachy waves, nice and messy. Like if I didn't um, curl it, so that's the vibe, that's the look that I'm going for. I'm gonna try to do this in less than 15 minutes. So I'm gonna part my hair, as you can see, I always put like one section up in a bun, and then I'm just gonna start from the back. So I'll grab like a little piece, and these waves are gonna be pretty loose. So I'm using a wand. I'm gonna hold it like this. I'll hold it for like about six to eight seconds. Usually I would do 10, but since today I'm going for that more like really natural curl. I'm gonna do about like six seconds. All right, so I'll just keep pulling hairs from the back. And then I like to curl the hairs backwards. And I'll do one backwards, one forward. That way they don't bunch up together. Um, so I'll do one back. And then this one, since I did the other one back, I'll do this one forward. Six to eight seconds, holding it, letting it go, kind of like playing around with it. I also need to do some dry shampoo because I went for a walk and a run this morning um, and did some abs, so like I'm a little sweaty, but not really. So I'll just put the dry shampoo on the top. I'll show you guys how I do that. We're gonna be all sweaty today, so I'm like, you know what? We're going with it. And I've also heard that doing your hair, curling your hair is better when it's a little bit dirty. My tongue grows, but it's true. It stays longer. Okay, for hairspray I'm using, it's a 10. This one's pretty strong, so I'm just gonna go in a little bit. Um, and then let's move on to this side. By the way, I have not started my makeup, so I have a baby face right now, um, a clean face. All I put was my moisturizer, so I put some cream on. I'll let that sit, and then once I finish my hair, we're gonna start with my makeup. I don't know if you guys do this too, but I always, like this just to kind of get the top any flyaways but I'm pretty much almost done and it is 305 oh my god 
I am so impressed. Five minutes in and we're almost there. Section, these pieces, these definitely need to be ironed because they're a little, little crazy. Oh my God, looks like I have a bob. <laughs> I one time got a haircut that was really bad. And this is how it looked like. Let me spray that. Last section, I like to part my hair pretty much down the middle. And for these, I don't really tie it up anymore because I'm like, I'm almost there. Let's just make it work. <laughs> By the way, these pieces, the front pieces, I like to do them all curling outward. So like flipped out. That way they're like away from the face. I think they look so much better that way. So going away. All right, we're getting somewhere. Last piece. Oh yeah, make them nice and bouncy. All right, so here's my trick. After I do it, everything is nice and curled. Looks good. I'm gonna go like this, flip my hair, make it nice and messy. I love to look like a lion with lots of volume. You see how much, how much better? I'll spray it again. Amazing. And then sometimes when I want to calm it down, especially today, that I want it to come down just a little bit so it doesn't look like I just did my hair, um, I'll like brush it through. I'm using Beach Babe Dry Shampoo. And this is the final look. By the way, it is 3.13, under 15 minutes. I just ironed slash waved my hair, so you could do it too. I gotta do my makeup though now, so I'm gonna try doing that in 15 minutes too. Woo! Hair is up, out of my way. Hydrate starting the makeup situation here, so let's get right into it. I am so late. Uh, I have to show you guys. So this is Fawn. This is from Laura Marcier. It's the tinted moisturizer. I swear by this. This is the only um, foundation. It's not even a foundation. I don't wear foundation, actually. So this is the only tinted moisturizer that I use and I swear by. So I'll put about that much. It's barely anything, but it's just a little bit like smooth out any imperfections um so i'm gonna go ahead i'm using this brush that i got at Sephora. by the way just a disclaimer i am no makeup guru i am just um going for that natural that natural glow i also love to look tan so that's why i um i mix two colors i mix fawn and tawny fawn is my natural color but tawny's a little bit darker so that's a trick they kind of look a little bit tan but not not too much. Also, the tawny is more of the color of my skin, of my um, of my body. So when I mix them together, my face will end up matching my body because I naturally have like a lighter face. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. Always putting that sunblock on when I train outdoors, super important. Dab it in, the more that I feel like it actually sets and the less like cakey it looks, even though it's only moisturizer, but I like to really get it in there so it looks like your actual face. <laughs> Not like you have like a cake on top of it. I already look like a new woman, just with tinted moisturizer. Come in! I told you guys, I'm always, am I not the last one? Yeah, you're always running late. Always, it's a problem. Even to your own thing. I know, <laughs> if it was my funeral, like I'd be late to that too. I'm going in with setting powder this and you're like oh, thank you so freaking cute my favorite product in the whole entire world is bronzer by um, Too Faced I put this all over my face I'm trying to look extra tan today Blush from MAC. I also love blush. Woo! I'm sweating. 
I like my eyebrows to look as thick as possible, so I'm going in with this pencil. Shading them in. Then a tint, I always put this on my lips to just give it that like natural color. But like very lightly, because if not, it's way too much. <laughs> Almost there, almost there. How thick, always. Let's brush up the eyebrows. This is a gel from Anastasia. I love it. I just comb them up and they they stay there for like that laminated look. Are you Say good? Hi. Hi. My mama is joining us. I sing. From Fenty, this is a spray that I put on there. It's just like a mist and it sets your makeup and it feels so good. So I'll do like two sprays. And we are done. What time is it about? Uh, 3.25. So I'll finish in 10 minutes makeup, 15 minutes hair. Let's go. Here is the fit. It's from Bowen T. This color just screams adventures, honestly. At the top, it has like this full detailing. And that's a wrap. I had such an amazing day with all these badass women. We had so much fun working out together, eating sushi, drinking some of that mango sangria, and honestly, just having great quality time all together. Major success. I hope to have more events like this and invite you guys to the next one. Make sure that you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see more videos like this one.